everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on implementing URL authentication tokens within our Django applications aka magic links. So I'm going to go through uh, roughly what to expect and then we can take it from there as well as discuss a few prerequisites for this video. So the first thing I wanted to show you quickly is what I mean by a URL authentication token of sorts is if we scroll down here, you'll see, if I zoom in here, you'll see an example here of a login URL token, which is generated. So as you can see here, it's a URL of sorts that has a unique token at the end. So this essentially is what is known as the Django Sesame package as magic links. So you'll be able to log into your Django applications via a URL token. And I'm going to explain how you can go ahead and set that up. Okay, now there's a few things I do want to mention before we get started. Now the first thing that you need to have is you need to have a simple Django project that has authentication built in. So essentially what I mean by that is you should at least have a registration page where you can register your users and a place to log in your users and of course a dashboard page. So when you log in, you should see a page of sorts. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So you should have functionality already that registers your users. So here I'm just going to call a user Kyle. So Kyle at mail.com, add in a password. So in this example, I'm using the default Django um, user authentication method. So I'm going to register a user. And then you should be able to log in with your user according to their username and password. And as you can see, it returns me to a dashboard page of sorts, just welcoming the user. All right. And you can log out as well. Logging functionality would be helpful as well. So that is what you need to have to follow this video tutorial. Now, of course, I do have a video tutorial that explains how you can set up a basic authentication app in Django. I will be sure to put that in the description below and that will help you get started for those that just want to quickly go ahead and create an authentication system in Django. For those that already know how to create a basic Django application with the authentication for username, email and password, then you're good to go. You can just carry on watching. So that is a prerequisite and that's also an overview as to what to expect in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Assuming you've got all of that set, let's get started. So we're going to utilize the Django Sesame package, which of course, as we can see, provides us with frictionless authentication with magic links for our Django project. So in other words, you'll be able to log in via URL tokens that are authenticated for a particular user. Great, so let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to install this package. So we can say pip install Django Sesame, and you can just go ahead and install that package within your virtual environment. So make sure you're within your virtual environment and you can say pip install Django Sesame. All right, there we go. So we've done that. Next, what we need to do is we need to head on over to our settings.py file and add the sesame.backends.model backend to authentication backends in our Django application. And now, if you're using Django 5 like me, you're not going to have this. So you're going to have to just copy and paste this entire thing in your settings.py file. So make sure that you copy the following, then you can head on over to your Django project settings.py file. And I'm just going to paste it anywhere. However, if you do have this authentication backends list here that has the default model backend for authentication already, then you can just simply add in sesame.backends.model uh, backend. You don't need to copy the whole thing, but this is usually going to apply to newer Django versions where you would need to copy the whole thing. If you're using old an older Django version, you'll most likely already have a list for authentication backends. Just for clarity there for you. Now let's take a look at an example here. So what you want to do is you want to first of all import the login view from the sesame.views module. So this is going to be in our main urls.py um, file within our application. So we can go ahead and copy the following line. And what I mean by main urls.py file, I mean that which is within the same directory of our settings.py file. So I'm gonna open this one here. And that's the one specifically where you'll have your admin um, set. So you can just go ahead and import logging view. 
Next, you want to add in the Sesame login pass here accordingly. Like so, you can copy that and you can just go ahead and paste that in and you would like, I'll just add it in at the bottom. So make sure you've added in that pass there accordingly. So that's going to allow us to make use of this package with its functionality. Right, so we've got that set. The next thing that I want you to do in your settings.py file is to declare the following redirect URL. So I've got a variable here that I've just stated, login underscore redirect underscore URL, and I've set that to my dashboard. So what you want to do is you want to add in this variable. So type in this variable in your settings.py file. So login underscore redirect URL, and you want to set it equal to the page that you want to be redirected to after you've logged in. Okay, so it's very important that you set this. This is crucial. So if I can give you a bit of insight into how mine is working with the dashboard. If I go to my app, so I have a simple Django app here called CRM. And if I go to my urls.py file here in this app, and also my views.py file here, just for clarity, Let's just adjust that. So in the urls.py file, as you can see, I have a dashboard um, URL here that has been set. And I can see my route name and the value of my name parameter here is also demarked by dashboard. And this is attached to a view called dashboard. So this is where I am calling it in the settings.py file to dashboard as the login redirect URL. Now, just to give you clarity on the view. So if I go to my views and to dashboard, it's very simple. It's literally just rendering out a template called dashboard.html from CRM dashboard.html. For clarity, if you want to see it, I'll open that up. So in my Django app, this is my custom Django app CRM. In templates, I have my dashboard here. And as you can see, here's my dashboard, very simple. Just says welcome uh, user and it has a user logout functionality there as well. So just something I wanted to show you for clarity so you can see. So we've got that, that is rendering out that particular template in the views called dashboard. That dashboard view is called here. And of course I've set the value of the name parameter to dashboard and the route name to dashboard. And that's being called here as where I'm going to be redirected to once I've clicked on that tokenized URL to provide frictionless authentication. Okay, so make sure you've got this in place. So we can close all of this up now. We don't need uh, anything else to set up. If you wish, what you can do is you can just keep your settings.py open here um, if you just want to keep that there. Right, so we've got that set. Now what we want to do is we want to run the Django shell as an example. Now here is where you're going to have to innovate as developers and you can technically go ahead and create a script or you can implement this to a view. The choice is yours, but this is the code that you're going to have to um, work with if you want to load a user from a database, which is something you're going to have to implement with your own functionality. And if you want to generate a login URL for your user. So those are two use cases that you're going to have to merge together to grab your tokenized URL. Okay. So the first thing that you want to, of course, do is you want to create a user. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to again create a re user. So I'm going to see if my um, server, let's turn on my server first. So you can just create a user again if you wish. And I'm just going to say register here. And you can create a new user for your application. I'm just going to say, uh, let's go with uh, on mail.com. And register. No. And log in. And welcome Arno, log out. Right, so I have a user called Arno. And now what I want to do is instead of logging in with Arno, with the username Arno and my password, I want to use a frictionless based authentication method by using a, by generating a tokenized URL as follows so that I can log in without having to log in manually. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, let me zoom in here so you can see. Okay. We're going to have to load a user from the database and we can do this in the shell as a demonstration. So what you can do is stop your server and you just want to simply go ahead and say python manage.py shell. And you want to go ahead and head on into the shell. So here we are in the shell and we want to 
import the default user model. So we're not using custom user authentication. We're just using the default um, user um, authentication in Django. So we can go ahead and copy the following line. So from the django.contrib.auth module, we want to import the standard user model. So you can right click and add that in. Great. Next, we want to go ahead and assign that to user here. So our user model is going to be equals to the default user model. Great. And now we want to perform a query of sorts. So you can just go ahead and grab your user accordingly. So here you can grab the first user. However, you can modify this to grab a um, particular user as you desire. Right. So what I'm going to do is alter this slightly. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to paste it in, but I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to change it up. I don't want to get the first user that I have. I want to change this up. I want to assign this to the, I want to get a particular user. So I'm going to set it based on the attribute where the username is equals to honor. So that's the user that I just created. So I'm going to assign that to this variable here that I called user. And I want to utilize the user model to get that particular object where the username equals honor and press enter. There we go. Now what I can do is I can generate a login URL for this particular user. Now, if you are doubtful of what that user is called, what you can do is you can just say print user. And that's going to print that user that you just went ahead and grabbed. So this is honor. That's the username of that user that I just created earlier. So now we can generate a login URL. So from the sesame.utils module, you want to import get query string, like so, and press enter. Next, you want to set the login URL, which is going to be as follows. We will just slightly change this a bit, so you can copy that, paste it in, and you just want to change it to HTTP for the moment, and you want to press enter. Great, so we specified the login URL. Then you want to bind the login URL to the get query string and attach it to that particular user that you set earlier on. So the variable here that was defined, which of course we can see the username was Anu. We just want to bind that to our login URL to create a unique URL login token. So what you can do is you can copy the following line, paste it in like so and enter. And there we go. We have generated a unique URL for our user, which is set as follows. And that's going to allow us to log in. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how is this going to log into my dashboard? Now, good question. In your settings.py file, you define the login redirect URL as dashboard. So when this URL is entered in a um, in the URL, should I say, let me phrase it this way. When this token is entered in the URL, you're going to be automatically redirected to the dashboard page as you would expect. Okay, so what we can do now is we can simply go ahead and copy this URL. So I'm going to copy it within the quotes. And I'm just going to replace um, this and paste it in. I'm not going to press enter yet because we need to run our server. So you can just say exit from the shell within uh, empty parentheses. Clear this up and now run your server. There we go. And now you can go ahead and press enter on this URL and it's going to log you in. So if I press enter, there we go. Welcome on a simple, easy, and that's how you can log in with a generated URL token. And that's a simple way of going ahead and ensuring everything's set. And as you can see, this session stays. There's not an issue or a problem of sorts. If I were to change the URL, go back to dashboard, it's going to see I'm still logged in. So if I were to log out, now go to dashboard. You can see that login required decorator that I have set on my dashboard um, is in place. So if you see, this is just something extra to mention. We can see that decorator is in place and working as it should. Okay, so that's it guys for this video tutorial on how you can go ahead and essentially, as we can see, use um, magic links as they are called for our Django project and how you can implement them. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support.